Good morning, everyone. Straight Dog Bill Arnold along with my daughter, Erin, again today doing song number 1,392 in 1,392 days in a row. I haven't missed yet. Doing one song every day. We're going to keep on doing one song every day until homeless dogs and cats are no longer killed, euthanized in the kill shelters across our country because when they run out of space, there's nothing else they can do. We understand that. It's just a terrible tragedy. They have to start killing killing these poor dogs and cats who have been there the longest. They're ready to be adopted. They could have been adopted. And uh, it's just a terrible tragedy that's going on. We've got to stop it. And you've got to stop it through spay and neuter in the dog and cat world. That's the way you stop. Uh, we can't let any more be conceived than we can take care of. Okay, good morning, Aaron. Hey, Dad. Uh, we're doing today, I have my Buddy Holly glasses on. We're doing the Buddy Holly tune called not fade away and uh, rain. Here we go. Two, three, four. I'm gonna tell you how it's gonna be. You're gonna give your love to me. I wanna love you both night and day. My love will not fade away My love is bigger than a Cadillac Show it to you and you drive it back Your love for me, you gotta be real know just how I feel I love for real when I fade away I love for real when I fade away That's when he died, too. Terrible tragedy that was. Anyway, uh, neat song. Please, everybody, spay and neuter your pets. Let's get a hold of Conception in the dog and cat world. Adopt from an animal shelter. We've got to get a hold of Conception, get complete control of Conception in the dog and cat world. Not any, we're not talking about any other species. Uh, but in the dog and cat world, we know how to do it. Spay and neuter. And uh, it can be done, and it's got to be done because we've got, we've got to stop overproducing. And when we overproduce, that we have to kill them. It's a terrible tragedy. Why, why do that? When you, if you have control of conception, then there, there's never going to be any killing 
of uh, of extras. There won't be any extras. It just produce a, a, enough that we can take care of. So we got to get to that point. Uh, we are still as a society killing 2,000 per day. Uh, and, and these are the 2023 figures. And back in 2011, it was 7,000 per day. Now it's down to 2,000. At least we got that far. It was 7,000 back in 1970, believe it or not. 41,000 dogs and cats were killed every single day of the year 1970. We didn't even know that that was going on back then. Uh, nobody knew. Uh, I, I suppose you could look it up in an encyclopedia and found out how many uh, dogs and cats are euthanized in the shelters across our country, but uh, we never thought of doing that. We got our first dog, Jenny, back in, uh, our family did back then, and uh, it was just, she was a neat dog, and we had no idea that that same day, 41,000 others were being euthanized in, in shelters. Now, we had adopted uh, Jenny from a, a family who had had a litter, uh, 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 unplanned litter, and uh, so uh, you know, so so we that's that's the way in those days, I guess, and uh, we still do that. People do, still do that. You see uh, signs that people go to Walmart with their uh, puppies and kittens that they allowed to be born, and uh, and uh, they're trying to adopt them out. So that's still going on, which is a good thing. At least, at least we get some of them taken care of. But anyway, we gotta. We gotta get a hold of conception in the dog and cat world, please, everybody. And spay and neuter your pets and adopt from a shelter. Uh, check out straydog.org, Go Kill Dog Shelter and Sanctuary that uh, Aaron's mom and I co-founded back in uh, 1994, almost 30 years ago now. Uh, we became a, a shelter in 94. We had started picking up dogs. We always had stray dogs in our family, too many, <laughs> but we, we had a yard full of them, and sometimes we had fights between uh, certain ones, and that, that was all. Do you remember those days, Aaron? Well, it wasn't uh, there, but yeah. Was, I mean, I well, with Sluggo had... even. Sluggo yeah. had to be. Yeah. But anyway, so uh, it's a real problem, and a lot of people go through this, too, where you have to sh shut one dog in a room somewhere because they fight fights with another one. So we've gone through all that, and we didn't know when we started... Uh, uh, we started collecting then uh, a few saving uh, uh, saving. Saving. <laughs> saving no we weren't collecting we were uh, saving uh, back in 92 was that uh, I can remember that we thought we could just adopt them out we just put an ad in the paper and uh, people would come and, and adopt them out right away and then nobody came and we had no idea why 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 doesn't why aren't people come and adopt them and uh, then we found out, or we started studying it, and found out that uh, so many were being euthanized all the time. And uh, so anyway, we got to get a hold of conception of the dog and cat world and stop the overproduction of them, only allow enough to be conceived that we can take care of them. Please check out Stray Dog, as I already said, and uh, make a donation if you can. We got our 501c3 back in 98, and so uh, uh, we're, we're uh, uh, nonprofit uh, Texas Corporation, and you can make a donate a tax deductible donation. The 501c3 makes it makes all donations tax deductible to the shelter. So please go online to make a donation if you could, and we'll be back again tomorrow with another song from Stray Dog Billy and Aaron. <laughs>